Greetings, fellow lab rats. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Pacific Drive, Episode 4, Leap of Faith. So, um, you don't have to follow the route that you scanned. So I scanned Serum here, but I could if I wanted to go up to the downs, but I'm going to go to Serum. Choose that for myself. And this answers a question that nobody asked, but I figured I would just point out. Um, if you're wondering if the hairs will follow you from junction to junction, no, it's gone. So this zone has perpetual stability. Uh, it has tons of fuel. Tons of buildings. The atmospheric shifts and radiation density is pretty low. Um, it has a few things that are not recognized, which I would like to scan. God, Sierra. Never wanted to think about this place ever again. Head to town. Colossal Cappy is smack dab in the middle of where Sierra used to be. You can't miss it. So if you're wondering, um, the loot and things and, and the instability of the area and all that is random and procedural, but um, the uh, cities are not. You're driving straight towards the largest honking anomaly in the zone? You wanted to know if there's a speck of remnant energy in that car? This is how you do it. You're using Cappy to amplify the remnant signal. That's insane. So, this was nice. Um, these box trucks... There's a, a, a different types of vehicles, and these box trucks have a lot of resources in them. So I got um, an MRE, which is a lot more healing, and uh, a custom antenna, which is a... That's interesting. The floppy disk, which is a CD instead. Um... And then different colored paints as well. So you can paint your car and decal your car. So crimson, lime green, and paint stripper and teal paint. We are, of course, um, running out of room. You know, Luke Goblin style. So I'm going to... Jenga things in as best as I can. So drive to the scenic overlook to get a view and bring cosmetic, uh, cosmetic items back to the garage to equip them. Are you sure about this? Well, they'll be fine. It's not fine. Look at those radiation spikes that Colossal Cappy's still giving off after all these years. To achieve any sort of resonance, the driver's going to have to get right up against Cappy. I get you, Francis, but Oppie's got a point. Any remnant energy lingering in the car is too weak to detect with conventional methods. Really? You're gonna take her side? This isn't about sides. It's a good plan. I won't risk someone's life just so we can log another remnant sighting. The driver can make their own decision. I'm not forcing them to do anything. For all I care, they can lay down and wait till the instability takes them. That would get them out of my hair much faster than all of these shenanigans. This is an anomaly, a particularly creepy one, called Tourist. Um... They're explosive. I will kick it. And promptly get hurt. Don't kick tourists. Unless you like getting hurt. I'm gonna eat some food here. Uh, there is a resource to be gained by pissing off the tourists. So I threw a lit flare at it. 
Um, what I will say is there are better ways to get the thermal sap crystals later on without spoiling too much. Like one from just scrapping squires and other armored vehicles. But um, when you blow Taurus up like that, it is really nice to have high visibility loot items. So you can actually see the thermal sap crystals highlighted because those tourists explode them, sending them everywhere. And it's really hard to collect them without the high visibility loot. So it's pretty much the only um, time that I will uh, turn on the high visibility settings because it's like trying to follow a golf ball watching golf on TV without a cameraman to aid you. Or a hockey puck or something like that. So these thermosap crystals are um, a less common resource that is important enough that if there's clusters of tourists, it's sometimes worth uh, blowing them up for uh, resources. But yeah, like this thermosap crystal I would have never found without uh, high visibility loot. Hi, Abductor. God, there's a lot of you. At least they're not aggressive in this zone, like last zone. I mean, you can also kick your car. You don't have to just kick tourists. All right, let's pick up uh, some stable anchors before we drive to Cappy. Oh, uh, also, one might imagine Taurus kind of hurt driving into with your car. They also, um, uh, possibly as homage to I Am Legend, they do some I Am Legend things, if you read me. You might be able to tell, uh, their positional location uh, keeps moving a bit. They, yeah, they travel. It's it's creepy as hell. But I stopped here because there's a squire here. The squires are always good loot. Ooh, I picked up a lead platelet from that squire too. You grabbed a tourist and blew it up on me. What a jerk. Luckily, I have canned food. Uh, I am out of room. That's fine. You're not really a fan of the noise abductors make? I mean, they're not supposed to sound nice. They are abductors, not like friendly floaters or something. They're, they're not nice. Oh, here we go. A little bit more stuff over yonder. Oh, and let me turn off the, um, nope, 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 no, misclicked. Uh, the high visibility loot, I don't need that anymore. Pneumatic tube with more paints. And then we have sodium vapor lights, 
which are collected with hand vax, which I have one in the trunk. Giving me light bulbs and glass shards. So up ahead, there's a crossroads, and we want to take a left. I believe, yeah, there's a gas station here. So we can top up our tank. What can you do with paints? Uh, you can paint your car. And in fact... I just started a, uh... I believe, a community challenge for you all. So theories number six. I have it all... F well, you know... Maybe I'll read these in order once I have them. I don't know. It's hard to tell whether I want to do them in order or not. We have off-white paint. That's a new paint type I just picked up. Electronics, a dumpster pearl. So a dumpster pearl is an item that you can deconstruct for random resources. So they're kind of like a, an in-game loot box, if you will. You don't really know what's in them, but it sure helps to uh, deconstruct them. Because sometimes you get some nice stuff. I'm just trying to scan everything. The more I learn, the better. Now we are almost uh, inventory full, so once that happens, I'll have to stop loot gobbling. But I haven't stopped everywhere. You know, I'm just stopping at points of interest. Like I'll, I can skip that shack without feeling FOMO. Thank you for the fuel, Big Dan. So there's a few um, stable anchors that I want to grab before I go to the, the Cappy Anomaly. And it's getting to be nighttime. It's 6.37 in game. Or 18.37. So you got, uh, oh, we have some new anomaly types here, too. Oh, we have a conga line. I like conga lines. Kaboom! The game doesn't call it that, but I sure do. It's when these tourists all line up in a row. Making it incredibly convenient to blow them all up. It's a little difficult to find the thermostat crystals, but I'm going to leave the loot highlighting off anyway to make my life harder. 
Perhaps at some point I'll have you guys vote on that. So this is a shaker. Uh, it just makes the ground unstable, sending you flying. One on foot. It's annoying, but not all that fatal, as you can t see. But in a car, eh, it can really mess with you. Send you flying into obstacles and the like. So shakers, can openers, abductors. That's all I see here. Pess, thank you for the resub. So the next one is kind of on the opposite side of town. So if I follow this road and take a right and then take another right, I'll get there. You do have the option uh, eventually to unlock uh, off-road tires, which makes off-roading a lot easier. And I would advise that to be a relatively early upgrade so that you can traverse off-road without too much frustration. Uh, but I don't have off-road tires yet, so I'm going to stay mostly on the beaten path because this car won't handle off-road or uh, mud or hills like much at all. So in terms of the route map, uh, we have scanned, so there's one unknown or not recognized thing left to scan. So we'll keep our eyes out for something that looks unfamiliar. So switchbacks up. All right, up we go then. The thermosap crystals are definitely worth, uh, especially early game, stopping your car to grab. But like plastic in glass shards, like they're a dime a dozen. And as you play, you'll learn what resources are like. Oh. Gotta have that, versus what resources are like, eh, don't really care. Gotta love bollards that are just, like, up all the time. Oop, ghost right in the whip. Oop, wrong door. So take this road past the trestle bridge and then take the straight fork up ahead. Got it. Oh, pneumatic tube. Like I have space for things, but okay. Uh, Considerable amounts of this game is procedurally generated. The the only things that are not are major points of interest and roads, but everything else is more or less procedural. Uh, the headlights will consume battery power, so right now my batteries are at 34.2 out of 50. And leaving them on will use power. So I could turn them on, but I could just as easily conserve power by you know, as long as it's not too dark by leaving them off. Honking at the Taurus that are in the road. In fact, you know what? I'm going to kill you. 
Get out of the road. Flares are kind of dime a dozen, so it's not like you need to conserve flares for any reason. I like to throw them at the tourists. It's fun. I imagine it raises my KDR. So, there is a lot of Arda. This is a Arda facility cluster. And I'm going to make a pit stop here. Oh, it's another conga line. This will be a little bit more obvious why I call it a conga line. They're all lined up. Let the crystals hit the floor. No, I don't steal my crystal. Chemicals are good. So the resources I would suggest... Oh, I need a stack. The resources I would suggest uh, focusing early on is thermal sap crystals and chemicals, as those are resources that you're probably going to want in a decent amount. Um, I'm going to drop some of this paint to save room. Speaking of Crimson, Crimson Rust, thank you for uh, gifting subs. In fact, that might be why I saved the Crimson Paint. In fact, let's use it. Here, a little thank you for uh, gifting subs. Although in the current light, you can't really tell it's Crimson colored. But I'm spraying my car at Crimson Red. Better to hide the blood? Yeah, exactly. A lot of these parts that I'm spraying, I'm not gonna keep. Like, the crude parts, I'm probably gonna get rid of pretty soon, but... Whatever. It's at least partially painted. Oh, another flare gun. Uh, I suppose, because I have one, I'll just use it so you can see what it does. Phew! And a lot of the sort of, like, loot goblining that I'm doing now is going to allow me to avoid more loot goblining later on. Serum is a pretty loot-dense zone, whereas um, a lot of the other zones that we gain access to really just don't have the kind of uh, loot or facilities that this does. But we are, of course, running out of room. So the flare gun shoots flares, but it has its own sort of like unique ammunition. So it's not, uh, it, it has f finite uses. So I'm firing it off mostly because I don't want to save room to store it. Because I'm running out of space. And soon here, I'm just going to have to make hard choices about what to keep, what to uh, leave behind. Or I'll just stop looting altogether, because I'm uh, out of... Oh, thanks for the car delivery, I guess. Freaking abductor tried to kill me with my own car. There's actually an achievement for that, being hit by your own car, but I instinctively dodged there. I already have all the achievements in the game, but like... Had I not, that would have been a pretty easy opportunity to get that one. Of 
Quantum Reagent. Thank you for the gifted subs as well. Cheers. Yeah, the abductors can be helpful when they're not actively trying to kill you. Although this one damaged my hood and my headlight. All right, so let's go ahead and drive towards Cappy. I already looted all of the anchors in the zone. We have 5.4 Kalim of energy. So we have lots of stable anchor energy to return home with if we survive. Ooh, there is a squire though. Here. With some thermosap crystals per, per chance. Oh no, this isn't a squire. This is just a steel car. I'll take your flares too. That looks like a vehicle I haven't scanned before. It's a fuel tanker with off-road tires. Master Earth, thank you for the uh, the bits. Cheers. Now. If I had a Liberator on me, which I don't, I would be able to build a Liberator and take those off-road tires. But a Liberator is a Tier 2 item, and my Craft Mat in the car is a Tier 1 Craft Mat, so I can't make a Liberator. Meaning that these lovely off-road tires um, can be scrapped for, uh, for rubber, but I can't take them. But I'll, I'll take a little bit of rubber. Making your own tires does cost a lot of rubber, so it's useful to have a nice supply of rubber. Is there a way to upgrade the craft mat? Yes. And these fuel tankers are a good way to uh, refuel. Surprise to no one. All right, this scrapper is dead. But I have plenty of material to make a new one. You love that I studied the game first? Yeah. Some games, I would say, like puzzle games, are probably best going in blind. Um, because if I know how to solve the puzzles, it's not interested, interesting to see me mm, cheat. But, like, I really like to do games at, uh, research in advance so that I can explain what's going on, explain the game mechanics, because there's a lot of, like, UI elements here that are not really thoroughly explained. Which would be super confusing. And it was confusing to me as well. Like, for the longest time I was like, what are these numbers? You know, they're your battery gauges. But, like, I didn't know that. Um. And also I think it's, you know. It, it allows me to demonstrate the game in a way. That, uh, had I not done advanced research, I couldn't. And then it also allows me to avoid games I don't think are worth playing because surely there are plenty that fall into that category. A new anomaly? Hot dust. Hot dust is basically just localized radiation. Uh, so as far as route map goes, I still have one un unrecognized scan type, but there is a giant field of radiation surrounding Cappy here. So approach with caution.
the car does somewhat protect you from radiation, uh, but it also does not, you know, cars take radiation damage in their own right. They're just more radio radiation resistant than you, the player, is. So, when you're in the car, you're somewhat protected, but not perhaps perfectly. Get another vehicle type. It's a tow truck. Mostly just like a launch ramp. Not much to scrap on them. Ugh. If you're wondering if why I'm driving so poorly, it's just very muddy here. So I'm sliding around without traction. You can see the yellow alerts on my uh, dashboard heads-up display. Displaying when I'm in uh, low traction. It's not just me making excuse for sliding around like an idiot. So, this is the last vehicle type that I wanted to scan. An Arda Investigator. So just like the original box trucks, um, that I got the paint out of. These are very good loot. So we have a crew, crude panel, and just like it's f stuffed full of, of loot. So I almost always stop for Arda investigator trucks and box trucks, as they um, they're very time efficient for looting. Whereas like stopping at individual micro wrecks is probably wasted time in my opinion. Unless you're desperate. You can see this sort of, uh, right above the fuel gauge is the radiation meter, and it's not happy about where I am and what I'm doing. New resource type just up here as if I have room for it but I will scan it anyway these are lead shielding so you can scrap them for lead platelets which is uh Another slightly more uncommon. The, the game doesn't have like the concept of loot rarity exactly. Um, but I would say thermostat crystals and lead uh, is less common, especially early game, than like plastic and glass as you may have noticed. It also entirely depends on how you want to build your car. Because there's um, there's tons of different types of components that you can put in your car. There's probably like more combinations than there are atoms in the universe of how to build your car. I would I would venture a guess to say. Because it would be like you know, 150 fact Factoria or something like that. So, uh, yeah. You have a lot of options here. Um, how can I conserve space? I really can't. Alright, I will scrap the lab computers and pick up what I'm able to. The uh, electronics and copper wire is probably a little bit more important than like plastic, so what I'll do here is di ditch
Oops. Ditch some scrap metal. To get electronics. Some re- oh, I just picked up scrap metal. Some- some resources like scrap metal, you can find everywhere. So it's not precious, so to speak. Whereas, like, electronics is a little bit less common to happen upon. Although, it all just stacked in my trunk, so here I'm playing 20 scrap metal pickup. But good enough. I have enough loot. Let's get going. Oops. Truck is already on. Let's get the uh, car close to the anomaly. Response. Maybe you need to get closer to Cappy's core way up there. Can you find a way to higher ground? Uh, so... A lot of loot will stack to 20, but not all loot. So, like, repair kits and items will stack often to 3. Uh, so it really depends on... what it is. But yeah, most things stack to 20. There are some items that will even stack to, like, 80. So, 20 is a close answer, but not always the case. Out of the road, tourist! Still not close enough to Cappy. What now? How about uh, uh, launching the car into Cappy's core? I, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> no, it's simple. The driver jumps the car into the heart of the anomaly, and if I time it right, I'll open the gateway and extract them. And if you don't, I've run some calculations. I think it should be fine. Anyway, it's like they always say: what's an experiment without some risk of total annihilation? Who says that exactly? In no way, shape, or form should we be doing this. Well, but you know, if it's the only way. Yeah, you got this kit for it. Okay. Time to go up to 88. My pry bar was pretty broken, so I just threw it at the tourists and grabbing a new one. So open the barricade from the control tower to access the bridge. So as you see, the gate's down. And the goblining continues. This is a transmuter. Uh, so a transmuter takes one type of resource and turns it into another. Um, although it's worth noting the ratio is not exactly known to you without looking it up. So, I can put in some amount of gears and get out canned goods, and some ratio. Might be like 2 to 1, 1 to 1, 5 to 1, 10 to 1. Um, my two cents about the transmuters, most of them are not that useful. Most of them take nicer resources and make it worse. Again, my two cents. That's not always true, but that's often true. So here's a circuit gate. Uh, which is the... When you open a circuit, it will open. It's like an Arda checkpoint. And here we go. Wish me luck.
Can you hear me? Cappy fried my transmission systems. Thought I lost you for a moment. Well, it all worked out, didn't it? The gateway got you out, and it looks like the ARC device is still intact with all the data it's recorded from your drive. And my plan worked. Cappy amplified the car's signal, and it matches. Looks like Tobias and Francis found their remnant after all. Unfortunately, what they've been saying is true. The remnants drive their victims mad. Maybe that car, having sat dormant for this long, will give you a little more time. Sorry, I don't have better news for you. I'm still game to get you out of here. The faster you leave, the longer you'll have to enjoy the rest of your sanity. So, putting my stuff away. None of the routes you've mapped so far leads to a way out. Why don't you head back out and chart some more? You can get in touch with Tobias and Francis while you're out there. Thank you for tuning in to Pacific Drive, which streamed as a marathon one time only March 16th and March 17th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below, but please keep in mind that both no feedback can be incorporated because this was streamed as a marathon one time only. And also I ask for no spoilers so people reading the comments don't have the game spoiled for them. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamot.com or the description of this video have a link to it. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, viewers that turned out for this marathon, and viewers like you as well that made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch you in next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow breachers.